This is from the complete poetic works of Michael Madsen. This poem, the first poem in the book, entitled 98 in a 55. Ninety-eight in a fifty-five on the twenty-six to Portland. We went to the Governor Hotel and spent four hundred on two hookers that sucked us off and left. They were laughing and we were laughing and it was all so strange. So we left and went ninety-eight in a fifty-five on the twenty-six back to Astoria. Scripts. I sometimes write on the back of script pages because I can't find any paper in the dark after the kids are asleep. These scripts I get are such trash anyway, man. Ilya Kazan is probably sleeping or drinking or taking a shit. Hammerhead. Man, I think the hammerhead shark is the most bizarre looking creature I've ever seen. What is the deal with that head? What was God up to with that one? Get out a shark book and look one up. Take a long look. It's crazy. It makes me crazy. Kind of like it got itself caught in an underwater vice, smashing its head into a hammer-like silhouette. Balls. We all come from balls, man. Balls have it all. Any way you look at it, balls are running the show. Or are they? I have a theory that the balls are a secret universe that is really the center of everything, created by them to keep sperm production alive. Balls would be the god we all pray to and worry about. Like some crazy Star Trek episode, the balls have made human beings the carrier of their agenda, host of their world that we think is ours. Going. Going out. Going in. Going here. Going there going everywhere, going to her, going to him, going to hell. Everybody's gotta go somewhere, every day, every hour, every minute, every second, every fucking day. Bullshit. Mankind's refusal to accept the result of their own folly. The superego that thinks they know everything about everything. Based on theory, right? The end of bullshit would be welcome. The empty eyes you see every day on TV and the quest for validation. But it's validation of ignorance. Loss of love. Loss of reason, loss of leave it to beaver. Major Nelson had a genie, but we don't. <laughs>